It's time for a quick time update on the Douglas County Board of Commissioners meeting for June 5th. With me is Interim County Manager Larry Werner. Larry, welcome. And I'm Lloyd Higuera. And uh, at that commission meeting on June 5th, commissioners heard a presentation on the work program for Douglas County from the Nevada Department of Transportation. Yes, uh, essentially it was the annual presentation that NDOT does with the county. Uh, as they do with all counties in the state and they talked about the statewide transportation plan and the upcoming projects for 2015, 16 and 17. There's a myriad of projects on state highways throughout the county uh, ranging from fixing the stuff down at Cave Rock Boat, Boat Launch to Holbrook Junction. Uh, most of it's safety improvements, guardrails, that sort of thing. And then there's, there was uh, uh, 16, 20, 20, about 23 projects over the next four years, and then about another 20 projects in the long range that take us through 2024, but they're not, not funded at this stage. Okay. Also, uh, commissioners decided to reschedule a discussion on entering into conversations with NDOT on road relinquishment and road transfers, and why did commissioners decide to put this one off? Uh, the concern was is that it may be premature to have that conversation in front of the Board of County Commissioners, that staff should probably be working a little more onto the details with NDOT, and then have formulate some ideas and maybe recommendations to come back and start talking to the board on. So they just felt that, uh, and also they, they felt that maybe the mechanism was to get the Regional Transportation Commission more involved and have that be the body that hears a lot of this stuff. So there's some internal process procedures we probably need to look at and then we also need to look at the actual, what roads would we take into consideration for this exchange or relinquishment. Okay, and commissioners heard a presentation from uh, Peckham and McKinney, an executive search firm updating the status of the county manager uh, recruitment. Yes, uh, Phil gave us the update. He had reported that there were 33 applicants that he'd received up to that point uh, from about 15 different states. The uh, recruitment time period goes through uh, June 16th, and then in the early part of July, it'll be uh, culled down to the final candidates presented to the Board of County Commissioners with their interview and community process in August, and then hopefully the kind of new county manager to be on board in September, October. And they're keeping to the schedule on that? They are, yes. Okay, yep. very good. Commissioners also authorized entering into an installment purchase agreement in the amount of $320,000 for the purpose of financing a combination sewer and storm drain cleaner truck. Yes, and the, the purpose here is to, to buy an actual piece of equipment for the county. The county can operate, operate and eliminate some of the contract services we do through a private contractor. Um, it's a piece of equipment that could be shared through water, sewer, storm drainage, um, and it, it really facilitates the ability to for cleaning storm drains, culverts, helping with repairs of pipelines, that sort of thing. But it's a very versatile piece of equipment that the county really needs. And the county doesn't have. Now. That's correct. This would be the first, first one. Okay. Commissioners introduced an ordinance amending uh, Douglas County Code to extend the date by which the uh, perimeter landscaping improvements for the Montero subdivision must be installed and inspected by the county. Th that's correct. The, uh, the concern here was that the initial discussions regarding this landscape district for the Montero subdivision, the, the initial costs were, seemed to be fairly high and there was a lot of protests from the property owners. The, uh, the developer and the county went back and looked at those costs and refined them, um, came back with a better assessment rate and I think people were much happier with that and so the ordinance was introduced on first reading. It'll have to come back as a second reading before the actual implementation of the rates, but uh, then we'll have, our, I think, the first uh, landscape improvement district for Douglas County. Okay, and commissioners also approved a 24-month review of four development agreements as required by state law, and which agreements were uh, reviewed? Those were the, uh, the Carson Business Park, um, and I, the uh, Pleasant View, Drayton Trust, Jobs Peak Ranch, Jobs Peak Ranch, and the Valley Vista Estates. Essentially, these are developments that are still uh, in the process of being finalized, and the, uh, the, the purpose is to review the development agreement to make sure that all the conditions are being con complied with and that there aren't any issues or concerns out there. Okay. The report back was that, yeah, everything's fine, looks good, uh, continue moving forward. Okay. And finally, uh, commissioners gave final approval to an ordinance to allow cottage food operations as part of a home-based business operation. Right, and that, that was uh, to get county code to conform with state law where you can actually uh, 
get a license to become a home a little home-based food operation it certainly sets up a lot of conditions and parameters but uh, prior to this law you really couldn't grow home-based foods without having a full-blown commercial operation fully licensed by the health divisions those sorts of things so this this allows a little more flexibility for home-based but it now brings county code into compliance with state law Okay, well, thank you, Larry. Uh, that's our quick time update of the June 5th meeting of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. I want to thank Interim County Manager Larry Werner. I'm Lloyd Higuera for the quick time update.